Hi, I'm David Gerard, and this is Pivot to AI, coming to you daily. Today, you can't expect Google to even try to fix a security hole in Gemini. Chatbots have various guardrails to stop them doing bad things, just because you ask them to. These guardrails sort of work, but you can work around them pretty easily. Large language models are trained on all the good stuff and all the bad stuff, and slapping a filter on the front is just not going to work, because it can't. The AI vendors are Daffy Duck running around frantically nailing a thousand little filters on the front, and then Bugs Bunny just casually strolls through. One way to get around the filters is to feed the chatbot commands in weird ways. We talked in August about how you could put commands into text in images. That hits the filter, but you can still sneak it through. Another attack you can use is ASCII smuggling, where you hide your command in weird high-end special characters at the high end of the Unicode character set. Most of the major chatbots block this attack, except Google Gemini. We noted in August how this attack worked on Gemini. So, Victor Markopoulos at Firetail tested ASCII smuggling on a whole pile of chatbots in September. ChatGPT, Copilot, Claude, they all catch it. They block this trick successfully. Gemini, Grok, and DeepSeek do not. Gemini is special because Google's put it everywhere like in any company that uses Google Apps. So Markopoulos built test attacks against Google Calendar invites. He could hit the titles, he could hit the meeting organizer's name, he could hit the meeting descriptions. Markopoulos reported this to Google last month. Google said it wasn't a security bug because it could only be used in social engineering attacks. Because fooling people into doing things, that's not an attack, right? Yeah, actually it is. Social engineering is most of how you hack companies, but Google has determined, just go for it. It's grossly negligent for Google to shove its AI into everything, then just declare security holes aren't really security holes because they only involve dealing with people. And really, who deals with people at work? I guess not Gemini programmers. I mean, but really, the answer to What's this chatbot vulnerable to is still, yes, yes it is, everything. Thanks for tuning in to Pivot to AI. If you enjoyed this episode, please do smuggle the ASCII of a link to it to at least one other person. Hit like and subscribe on YouTube, leave a nice podcast review. And if you enjoy Pivot to AI and it adds to your life, please do drop just $5 into the Patreon linked in the show notes below. Or if you're on YouTube, hit the join button below the video. It really helps. Thank you all. See you tomorrow and bye for now.